Hello everyone. Let's provide the solutions to this um, Olympiad Mathematics 3k to the power of 3 being equal to 24. Do you know that this means that k to the power of 3 is equal to 8? What have I done? Divide both sides by the coefficient of k to the power 3, and that is 3. 3 will cancel itself, and 3 into 24 is um, 8. Now, from here, do you know that k to the power 3 here is the same thing to 2 to the power of 3? Okay, so... From here now you can see we are having the same the same powers now for you to get all the solutions you take this to the left k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is now equal to 0 now apply a standard if a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is given then it will be the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so this is what we we are going to have now applying the same standard here we'll have in place of a minus b now we'll be having um k minus um two Yes, we'll be having k minus 2 in the first bracket. And in the second bracket, our a squared will now be k squared, right? That'll be k squared. Then plus ab becomes, becomes k times 2. That'll be 2k. Then plus b squared. That'll be 2 squared. Okay, because our b is 2. Now, the whole of this will be equal to 0. To continue with this, k minus 2 here. And then here we have k squared plus 2k plus 4. This is equal to 0. Now, what do we do? Apply our 0 products rule let us apply our zero product rule right okay and the zero product rule says the you know this is either equal to zero or this is equal to zero and this is because we are multiplying this and this to get zero okay so k minus 2 is equal to zero or this quadratic expression which is k squared plus 2k plus 4. Now, this is a quadratic expression, but we are going to equate it to 0. So, now we have a linear equation and a quadratic equation. From the linear equation, which is k minus 2 equal to 0, k will be equal to 0 plus 2, and our k is equal to 2. So, this can be called the first value of k. Now, to get the other values of k, we will go straight to the quadratic equation there, where we have k squared plus 2k plus 4 being equal to 0. From here now, let's solve this using the formula method. a is 1, coefficient of k squared, b is 2, coefficient of k, and then c is equal to 4. The constant but now what is um, the unknown variable in the quadratic equation k right so that means you are looking for k so k will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a remember that remember that um, we can now substitute our values for ABC into this okay so now our K will be equal to in place of minus B we'll have minus 2 then plus or minus B squared now becomes 2 squared minus 4 times A is 1 
times c which is 4 right put 4 over there and the whole of this is divided by 2 times 1 to continue then k will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 i mean the square of 2 is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 that will give from um, 16 this is over 2 the next thing is to evaluate the square root our k now will be minus 2 plus or minus 4 minus 16 will give minus 12 right and this will be over 2 to continue k will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 multiplied by square root of negative 1 I have succeeded in, bring, in bringing out the negative from there so that we can get the square root of 12 this will be over 2 right now let's break it down further k will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 here square root of 12 here can be broken down into 4 times 3 because square root of um, 4 times 3 is 12 so it's the same thing and then square root of negative 1 will give us i an imaginary you know um number then this will be over 2 so if we continue our k will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus then square root of 4 is 2 square root of 3 is still there because it will give us decimal and i don't want decimal then multiply by i this will be all over 2 now look at what i want to do from here um our k now will be equal to do you know that we can factor 2 out and if we do we have 2 outside then here we have minus 1 plus or minus here we have just root 3 multiplied by i that's what we have okay let's close this and the whole of this will be over 2 so that this can now cancel this and our k will be equal to so k now will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus i want to write i first so write i square root of 3 now let's break this into two so that k will be equal to minus 1 plus i root 3 or minus 1 minus i root 3 now let's bring the three solutions together the first one let's call it our k1 which is equal to 2 right then the second our k2 is obtained here and it will be minus 1 plus i root 3 then our k3 will be minus 1 minus i root 3 so these are the three possible solutions to the equation which is um 3 k to the power of 3 being equal to 24 thank you for watching